So here is a sector. And now that I know how to convert from degrees into radians, maybe I can find a shorthand and quicker way of finding the arc length of a sector. So finding the length around the outside of a sector. So originally, when we were working in degrees, what I would have to do is I'd have to think about this angle as being a fraction of the total of 360 degrees all the way around. And then that is the fraction of the circumference that I want to find. So the circumference is 2 pi r, OK? That's how I found the circumference. So arc length equals this in degrees. Now, if I'm going to convert this into radians, then what I need to understand is that 360 degrees is 2 pi. So this is in degrees. I'll write that in degrees. And now arc length in radians, well, I can replace the 360 with 2 pi. So I'd have 360, oh, sorry, theta over 2 pi now, rather than 360. And I'm multiplying that with 2 pi r. So I'm dividing by 2 and timesing by 2, so they cancel each other out. Dividing by pi and timesing by pi cancel each other out. And I'm left with theta times r. And so in radians, the formula for the arc length is just theta times r, the angle in radians times the radius, which is a whole lot quicker to work with and a lot easier to work with than this formula here.